Hey everyone, Dennis and Stephanie Kay here. Welcome today. We're going to be talking about something pretty exciting and that uh, as many of you know, we haven't been able to get back to Belize recently because of COVID-19, but we are planning a trip just as soon as it's safe for us to do so. And we're planning our 21 Epic Day in Belize new video series. Exciting. Yeah. So many of you have been writing in telling us what an epic day in Belize for you would be. But first of all, I want to hear from you, Steph. What would be an epic day in Belize for you that we could have film, we, we could have fun filming and sharing with all of our viewers? Well, that's a hard question for me because I've already had a lot of epic days in Belize. I mean, <coughs> my goodness, we lived there for a long time and I've done so many amazing things. But right now I am missing the Blue Water Grill. Ooh. So I would sleep in because I am not a morning girl. Not at all. And I would go to lunch at Blue Water Grill and see what kind of amazing salads they have. I know that sounds like, ooh, salad. No, they have like awesome dressings and I would have french fries on the side, you know, amazing avocados, bacon, all the wonderful stuff. So whatever Kelly and her family there is making, I would have a great meal. And then I would have Astrum helicopters pick us up. Ooh. Because one time, a long time ago, I won a, some kind of contest where they were like, had to go up anyways, and they took three people. And I was one of the three people who went fast enough on the website. And I was able to be up there and go up and down and see the island from a helicopter. And it goes like this and you look down and you can actually see glass underneath you and you get to see the beautiful colors of the wreath. It's amazing. But the one thing I haven't seen in all the years is the blue hole. Mm -hmm. Because the blue hole takes three hours to get by boat. And the idea of six hours round trip on a small boat wasn't my favorite idea. So maybe on a helicopter being able to see it and I love taking pictures so to take some amazing pictures of the blue hole then I would have Ashram helicopters drop us off at a resort up north okay which one mm, that's a hard thing I my, my first thing was Matachika because mm -hmm. I really like the Matachika style mm -hmm. but I'm gonna have to research it because I want one with an amazing bathtub big huge bathtub and I'm gonna bring lush bath bombs you and know like I think Portofino has a master suite with a big jacuzzi tub in the room I believe so so a I've jacuzzi tub out. in the room and I would have champagne <laughs> and like little chocolates and like little you know desserts from after dinner mm -hmm. and maybe have like um and I'm there too right yeah, oh, oh yeah, okay. heck yeah you're good, in the bathroom good. with me so then we will have them bring in from the restaurant dinner Mm. so we will have dinner in the room together a romantic dinner mm. and a long bath that is so my that's epic a little bougie because i've done the awesome <laughs> snorkeling and i've done all that many times i've done you know the awesome reggae uh catamaran trips mm. and you know i can have fun with a little bit of money but i can have a lot of fun with a lot of money mm. too so she knows how to spend guys just hey, to let you know. And my helicopter trip last time was free. It was. So it's almost like getting two trips, two uh trips for one fee now, because you already had one. So so yeah. That is awesome. That wow. would be my wow. So blue water girl for lunch. Uh ask from helicopter tour of the blue hole in the afternoon. Come back, stay at a nice resort, hot tub bath, champagne, del delivery of the dinner in the room. With dessert, yeah. With dessert. Now nah, here's here's the and caveat. You have to feed me cheesecake. Yeah. So here's the thing. We plan on taking as many of you on these epic days as possible but we're probably going to drop you off after the blue <laughs> hole because you're not coming to the resort with us okay so that's on your own you guys get your own room so you get so, the junior resort yeah, exactly so here's some uh here's some people who have written in uh telling us about their epic day in Belize what they're looking forward to doing so first of all this one is not on the island of Amherst Key but it's on the sister island of Key Cocker so uh, this client of ours wants to wake up early have breakfast on the ocean at a little local place in Kikawker, and then go hang out at the Split. The Split is one of the most famous swimming spots in all of Belize, uh, let alone all of Kikawker. Are we all doing these together? Well, these are things that my clients want to do on their epic days, but okay. if possible, we're going to join them and do them along with them, and uh, we're going to have a nice time videotaping all of this together. Okay. So she wants to do that. 
that she wants to go out for a, uh, a day afternoon of uh, sailing on a catamaran, do a big snorkel trip, and then come back at night and have local lobster on the beach, on a grill, listen to some reggae, some Bob Marley, a little bit of dancing, a little bit of rum punch, and watch the stars come out and the moon come up over the Caribbean. Pro tip, when you go on those catamaran tours, make um, in your phone a list of your favorite music mm. because they will just plug it in to the sound system. And while you're laying there with the sun and you have a rum punch in your hand and they're feeding, feeding you ceviche mm. and pineapple and all of the amazing fruits, um, you can listen to whatever mood you want. And you know what, if you don't have that, they somehow have the perfect ones. So they'll have, you know, a lot of reggae, they'll have a lot of top 40, they'll have a lot of, if you wanna be in the jazz mood, all sorts of different things. Mm. Sounds so, awesome. Okay, so here's mine. Okay, so mine has to be a little bit tailored uh, to hers because she likes to sleep in and <laughs> doesn't do well in the mornings. All right, so here's my thing. I wake up early and I wake up about 5.30 and I grab my cup of coffee and I step outside before the sun rises and it's dark. And then you spend about a half hour out there and you watch the sun come up over the Caribbean. It is the most awe-inspiring sight you've ever seen. And just that warm, humid breeze coming in off the Caribbean Sea, have my coffee. And then once the sun's up, I'm going to take the golf cart and I'm going to go down to... Ruby's. What's that? Ruby's or Neri's Tacos? Oh, Neri's. All right. Yeah, so this yeah, is yeah. this cool. is dirt cheap. So I go to Ruby's for my Johnny Cakes, my ham and cheese Johnny Cakes. Also the Trace um, Leche. The Trace Leche is fantastic. Or I go to Neri's, famous Neri's for the tacos, spend two bucks US on, on breakfast amazing and bring it back to me in bed all right well you're not up yet i'll bring you back a fry jack all in, right in bed yeah all right so maybe late after morning because i'm still kind of giving her time to sleep in uh maybe i go for a massage there's a great place that over the water does massages over the water so like a nice 90 minute deep tissue and then then we meet up all right now here's my epic day in belize we have a boat captain take us and some of our closest friends off the coast of Secret Beach, we go to about a two or three acre deserted island. It's an absolutely gorgeous island with a long sandbar. Uh, we take uh, the, some, some screening, we put up some, some screens, we have some shaded areas, we take a big boom box, uh, we take everything we need for a awesome picnic. Where we used right? to go on our boat? Nope, this is, this is up, that was by Cayo Sponto. Okay. This is way up north of Secret Beach, all right? So we have the boat take us there. Maybe it's about 1, 1 1.30 in the afternoon. Along with that, we've picked, we've packed a, a picnic basket full of wine and fresh fruit and cheeses and great food. And we say, pick us up in about three hours. And we and our closest friends and clients, we just have a, an awesome time on a private island. There's no one around. And the boat comes back, picks us up, takes us back. We get freshened up. And then we do go to eat at one of my favorite places in Belize, which is Mata Chica. Now, here's the thing. The Mata Chica boat runs from San Pedro town up to Mata Chica, and there's no cost for that. So they'll pick you up at the docks, take you up there. And when they take you up, it's about 6, 630, right? So the sun's yeah. still out. You have an amazing on the time of year. blowout dinner. I'm talking the crab stuffed grouper is just mm, amazing. So have a blowout dinner. They have awesome music up there. Mm -hmm. And then about 9, 9.30, it's pitch black. And you're taking the boat back from Mata Chica to town and the stars are out. And you just, it's just amazing. You can see the, um, what's, the what's the galaxy? Milky Way. You see the Milky Way galaxy. The dipper, the stars. The dipper. Oh, it's just yeah. amazing. Then the boat comes back, drops you off at Fido's. Fido's is a fantastic place where they often have live music, especially on the weekends. You forgot about the best part of the boat. The ladies who make the desserts are on the boat because they're coming back. <laughs> it's true. So you get to say thank you to the people who just yep. made you like flourish oh, chocolate the, cake yeah, exactly. or cheesecakes yeah. and stuff. And if you're nice, they might give you a little baking tip. Oh, there you go. There you go. That's right. You're right. So you're on the boat with the staff all coming back yeah. and uh, it's just a great time. And then if you have any energy left at Fido's, you can have a rock band, a reggae band, and you just have maybe one last, last little nightcap at Fido's, and you're dancing, and you're grooving under a huge thatched roof restaurant. You're right in the Caribbean Sea, and then we go back to our room. Now, for this is my epic time, right? So my my epic stay. 
I chose my epic night at the Phoenix. Ah, mm. good choice. Mm. And they do have a big bathtub too. Yeah. So the Phoenix is a resort right in town, right in St. Peter town, very high end. Uh, if you guys spend a week there, it'll break the bank. I'm not going to lie. Uh, and there's no discounts at the Phoenix. They never offer discounts. Why? Because they don't have to. It's one of those kind of places, but uh, it's fantastic pool, great restaurant on site, fantastic rooms. Uh, and uh, that's my epic day. Kelly made both of our lists, Blue Water Grill and, and the Red Ginger. Yeah. 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 Red Ginger is the restaurant there. Yeah. So, so listen, there's a lot of other ways to spend a day in Belize that doesn't involve the islands. For example, some of my clients epic days is uh, taking a plane from Amherst Key over to the Cayo district, uh, cave tubing, zip lining, canoeing on the rivers, maybe going into Guatemala to Tikal and seeing some of the largest Mayan ruins uh, in that entire area, uh, sampling Guatemalan food. It just there's so much to do in and around Belize. And here's the thing. When we go, we're going to give you guys plenty of notice, you know, so when we go, we want as many of you, our clients, to meet us in Belize as possible. And we're going to go off and have these incredible times, these incredible excursions with you. And hopefully you'll let us film it all and post it to our channel and uh, kind of celebrate the end of 2020 and the end of, of hopefully COVID-19 and just go to Belize and truly enjoy it with all of you guys. So if you're making plans to come to Belize, let us know and comment below what your epic day would look like. And it doesn't have to be expensive. It doesn't have to be fancy, or it could be. All right. So I'm looking for ideas here, guys. Uh, if you have a small budget, what would you do? If you had a huge unlimited budget, what would you do? Let's get inspired. Let's plan this together and have a fantastic time. Also, some of the things merge together. Mm -hmm. Yours is a picnic on a certain area. Mm -hmm. Someone else might be to go out with a fishing captain mm -hmm. and catch amazing, amazing fish. Mm -hmm. They can come meet us there mm -hmm. and everyone, usually the fishing captains can go ahead and make a barbecue on the beach and they have all of the stuff to fry up that fish that you just, or make up that fish that you just um, caught a half an hour before. So you'll have the freshest fish, fish possible. Or like Will said, he had the Japanese um, chef mm -hmm. make fresh sushi. From Kyoto's, yeah. 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 I mean, not all of us rock it like Will. Yeah. But, you know. 100x, Will, 100x. <laughs> <laughs> no, there, there are so many and steps right. You know, so if, for example, if you're looking to do Belize on a budget, you can have an epic day in Belize and it'll cost you almost zero because there's so many great local foods you can pick up for nothing. Or... If you want to have a blowout time and spend three or four nights on a private island, there's islands in Belize where you could actually go in with you and your friends and rent the entire island, right? Or yeah. let's say you don't want your own entire, entire island, but you want to live like a, live like a rock star, live like a, a movie star, then go to Cayo Espanto, which is a small island right behind Amherst Key. And for $2,000 a night, we could go there, for two grand a night, and you get a little cabana, over the water, with the all butler. inclusive, with your own butler, with your own plunge pool. Um, obviously, that's a big splurge, right? That, that's a big one there because for two thousand bucks, I, I know how hard I work for two thousand dollars. And um, but I mean, talking for an epic, once in a lifetime experience. I never thought about that. You know, oh man, yeah, oh, man, you, you, I just messed myself you? up. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> Thanks, guys, for watching. We appreciate it. Hit the subscribe button below. We're looking forward to seeing all of you down here in Belize real soon. Be safe. Hope you're having a good time right now with friends and family and loved ones. And we're looking forward to uh, seeing you on your adventure in Belize. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.